work for 16 hours a day. Some of you are listening to that idea and I'll repeat it again, work for 16 hours a day and you're thinking human rights, what about the ethics and all, 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 all of this nonsense. Look, now, now first of all, it's a function of ambition. Where do you want to go in your life? If you think that you're afraid or it's unreasonable to work that hard, there's a direct correlation between the hours that you put in and the success that you will have. That correlation hasn't changed. And this is time tested, right? For hundreds of years. Working 16 hours a day gives you two work days. There's the work that you do in the daytime, which is your day job. And there's everything else that you do after you finish that determines the fate of your future. You can choose and you have choices. You have 24 hours in a day and you can, of course, choose to. In your second work day, you can choose to watch TV shows. You can choose to spend time with friends. There's, there's, there's 101 different things that, that you can do. But if you're an ambitious person and you have a desire to achieve certain things in your life, then to accelerate your ultimately journey to that destination, the, 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 the true way to achieve that is to put the hours in. There's, there's, no, there's no shortcuts to acquiring the body of knowledge and experience that you need to achieve an outsized income. If you're looking for ordinary results, then you work according to the ordinary benchmarks. And one of the big frustrations I have that I see with, I'm 37 years old, and frankly, there's a, a huge cohort of people that are younger than myself that are very concerned about this mentality of clocking in and clocking out. Now, first of all, if you're in a job that you want to clock in and clock out from, then you probably shouldn't be in that role. And that's, again, it's an independent decision, right? That's about you. It's not about the company. It means that you're not a right fit for that company and that company's culture. So, and that, 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 that stems from loving what you do. And if you don't love what you do and you're not learning with what you do, then you will want to look at the clock at 5 p.m. and you'll want to leave. My first role when I was at Deloitte as a tax management consultant, that wasn't the right work for me. It didn't mean that Deloitte wasn't the right place for a huge proportion of people because they employ hundreds of thousands of people. Of course, it doesn't mean that all of those people are happy, but we live in a golden age where you do have the options of choice. You do have the freedom to work from home. You do have a global marketplace that you can fundamentally pick your position from. So this conception of the clock in, clock out mentality is bogus because you have the choice to do the things that are close to or an approximation of what you love. So if you are doing what you love, then the concept of a 16 hour day shouldn't frighten you because you'll love what you do. You want to accelerate in the things that you're doing and to get the acceleration when in combined with the love for the work means that the concept of working overtime will be a complete misnomer. There'll be no concept of this clock in, clock out. And if you're not prepared to put the hours in, you have to understand, you have to understand, you're going to compete against people like me. And there's, 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 there's one million of people like me who are not afraid to work from the moment that we wake, wake up until the moment we put our heads to bed, some form of work, okay? Or some form of thinking about work. Practically for me, that's a 4.30 a.m. start that's up and I don't stop working until 6.30 a 14 hour day every day it doesn't feel like work because i'm working on the things that i think will lead to an entirely different future which is why i return to this concept of the and and and, and if you're at a stage of your life and this is this is this is the key if you're at a stage of your life where you haven't yet received or got the freedom of financial security for the rest of your life, you probably should put the hours in. Because at some point, the 
money monster is going to come calling and they're going to say that, well, you know what? You had this desire to want to provide, to, to thrive in your own life, because if you're young, it starts with me, because all I have to look after is me. But there'll be other days that will come and your desire to want to put the hours in, because again, people have this misnomer that when I say these things, it's it's not a function of working in an environment where there's no progression, there's no reward, and there's no long term. There's, there needs to be the exchange value. And I leave that for you to determine because you can't have that in place. And then you, until you have that in place, it's difficult to put in the 16 hours of work a day, two days a day, two days a day. That's how you can accelerate your return on, in investment for whatever you're choosing to put your time into because of because of the tools that you need to learn, because of the skills that you need to acquire, because of the experience you need to have. The shortcut is extremely fucking hard work. All of the modern examples demonstrate that. The 10,000 hour rule, the effort that's required when you look at any protege or any phenomenon who stood the test of time. Sport is often the greatest indicator of it, whether it's a Cristiano Ronaldo's, whether it's a Tiger Woods, whether it's a LeBron James, whether it's any relevant, famous, sustained famous icon, influencer, celebrity, business person, what you'll find if you study their history is they have a history of putting in a phenomenal amount of hard work. And yet people then have this desire or they want to pay lip service to a result they want to achieve in a compressed amount of time, a compressed amount of time, okay? Because you say, right, I want to change your fortune of X, Y, Z in a three month, a six month, a two year timeline, when the experience required to achieve that outcome is probably 10 years of experience. So there's only one way to speed that up. Now, this is going to make some people uncomfortable when I say work a 16 hour day. This is going to lead to a series of discomfort. But again, it's all a question of your ambition. What are we optimizing for? At, at Pearl Lemon, there's challenges that we have as a company, there's challenges that I have as a founder. Again, I'll say, I, I, I say to people that I will never come in expecting people to be at their desk for 16 hours a day. But I would advocate for people putting in the work, putting the work in to get the return that you're probably looking for. And I invite anyone to show me how you can do anything transformative in a compressed period of time within your eight hour day. For me, I've not, I've not figured it out. I've not figured it out. And I, and, 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 and I would say I, I, there's people that absolutely work harder, but I, I, I work pretty fucking hard. But then people want to get the result in absence of the effort. And the effort equation or quadrant here, it's all a sense of benchmarks, which is why I'm giving you what might seem to you to be an unreasonable benchmark. For my dad, it was a very normal benchmark. He worked at Heathrow Airport as a truck driver and he would do 80 hours a week. He would do more than 12 hour days, five days a week, every day of the week. So he had a completely different conception of what was working hard. I don't actually tend to think that I work as long as hours as he did, which is why when I have put in these hours, it's been a very normal thing within my family. And the theme again if you refer to you know don't, don't don't let me be your benchmark examine the histories of any of your role models or any of your influences and 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 recognize that if there's a goal that you have if there's a mountain you want to climb then you've got all of the opportunity you've got all of the abundance what you think you lack is time but you do and we do to some degree we do lack time which is why you need to organize yourselves to use all of the time that's available to you no, my 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 goal with this is to give my give my wife the 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 family that we have an extraordinary life. I don't I don't have that ability to do that right now because we're not in 
We're in a financial position to be comfortable, but comfortable, and again, comfortable is relative, right? And it depends what you want to optimize for. So if you want to be comfortable, then absolutely the, co the concept and relative comfort, because comfort means a different thing for different people. You know, if, if comfort, comfort for me means complete financial freedom, comfort for me means being able to triple the salaries of everyone within my company without even blinking, blinking an eye. I've got good ideas about how to do that, but I don't know how to do that. Not to, I couldn't do it today. So to figure out how to reach those goals, I can't figure those out in the course of an ordinary nine to five. There's simply not the time to figure out the answers to some of these difficult questions. And that's what you need to figure out yourself. But it begins with a simple, a simple approach to follow, especially if you're listening and you have freedom of responsibility, especially if you're listening and you don't have significant financial burdens that are placed upon yourself. Put the time in because you have the time that's available to you. There's people all around the world that work still in indentured labor, in wage labor, probably in slave labor in some parts of the world that do backbreaking work in the farms and the factories and labor camps that exist in esoteric parts of the world. You have the ability to put the work in. It's just a question of how bad do you want it? Everyone says they want it bad, but no one's prepared to put the work in that's badly needed to get the result that you want. You have to reset your benchmark. Not, 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 you know, you know for, 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 for my team, if you're watching this, it's always, always to begin with for you, but then for all of the people that you can transform their lives as a consequence of the reason that I want to put in, it's the same, it's, just, it's, it's interesting. There's a, there's a counterintuitive irony to it. The reason that my father worked 80 to 100 hour weeks throughout my whole childhood was that so I didn't have to. Now he's given me that platform and there's no excuses. There's no excuses. The world is flat. Everyone has almost everyone, especially for you if you're watching this video, you have internet access. There's no excuses. All of the information is out there, but it's difficult. It's not stopped being hard. My father just had a different kind of heart. He had, for me, honestly, a more admirable kind of heart because he had limited options. There wasn't the internet. He wasn't a fluent English speaker. He didn't have a currency of education that was as relevant in the time that he grew up, arranged marriage, married at 13, came to India, came, went from India to the UK with 20 pounds in his pocket when he was 16, had to call his father-in-law to get him to pay the cab guy because he went in the wrong direction, turned up to the UK, no money, nine of us living in a three bedroom house at one point. But, but, but he, he had a different set of opportunities. I have a massive set of options in front of me. So I feel that I've got an obligation to work the hours that are available to me because I want to work such that I can give everyone around me a great fucking life including my team, including the people that I'm responsible for. So think about the people that you're responsible for. And if you're not responsible for anyone today, think about the people that you will become responsible for in the future. What kind of life do you want to get? What kind of life do you want to give them? What kind of opportunities do you want them to have access to? What will achieving extraordinary results do for the people around you? And in, and in working 16 hours a day, people around you may laugh. They may chuckle. They may say you're working. And that's OK, because you see things and you see a future that is as of yet unobtainable or seemingly impossible to the people around you. And at some element that might include yourself. So you have to put the hours in to figure out how to get from zero to 100. And it's not easy. It's not easy. It's hard. But one of the ways that you can begin to optimize for achieving that outcome as much as possible quickly as possible is to com compress time so expanding 
your work day is a function of just expanding the amount of time you put into productive work. Now you can decide what that work is. Everyone's got a different version of work. And in the world where it's distributed and remote, in the end, we all make independent decisions about the efficacy and the effort and the input that you want to apply to things that you set your mind to. But that's a surefire way to progress rapidly and rapidly quicker in anything that you do as compared to almost 99% of your peers. What did you do? I outworked you. And over time, I was able to do things that made people look at me and think that I was a genius because this is what they give, the name that they give to many, many of the stars that we see on the TV screens that we watch. Genius. Cristiano Ronaldo, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Conor McGregor. Genius. And if you listen to the biographies or the annals of any of these people, you'll hear, no, I'm not a genius. I just worked extremely fucking hard for an extended period of time. So, 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 so you look at that common theme. Think about and, and be honest with yourself because most of us are shockingly dishonest with ourselves. Most of us have spent almost all of our careers lying to ourselves about how hard we work, how much attention that we pay, how much effort that we put in, how much it's someone else not rewarding us or recognizing us or appreciating us in the way that we're meant to. Life's not fucking fair. It's not designed to be fair. But actually, for those who are willing to put in the work, you get an unfair advantage over everyone else. You get an unfair, a seemingly unfair return on investment because your rate of work ethic directly equates with your ability to accelerate the results that you see in your life. There's a, there's a, there's a clear corollary that if you spend eight hours doing the wrong thing. I bet you, I bet you that if you spend 16 hours doing the wrong thing, you're in twice the time or half the time, stop doing the wrong thing because your knowledge of getting to doing the wrong thing will come that much quicker because you'll get to the right answers that much faster. You'll get to the, and, 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 and this is the crazy thing. You know, there's stories that I've seen of, People that said, you know what, my success came as a consequence of it took me five years to learn a simple lesson. And when I learned that simple lesson and I understood it, then everything changed. That's why you need the hours. And 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 I I just I just don't believe that that has changed. I've grown up, I'm I'm the last ever generation in memory that was born before the internet and then have seen the internet come growing up as a kid there was no internet mobile phones were just beginning and then we've seen where we are today so th th there's been a lot of transition in that period but the need to put in phenomenal hard work hasn't changed to include YouTube influencers and the billionaires who are making money faster than ever, the level of work these people put in, if you actually examine what they do and the amount of hours they put in is phenomenal. It hasn't changed. What has changed is that the ability to get a return on investment has compressed, but we're in an arms race. So the one thing that you can bank upon if you want to achieve an outsized result is to put in the additional hours because then the returns will come. Because if you want a lifetime of working two hours a week or two hours a month, if that's what you're optimizing for, lifestyle design, because you might say, that sounds horrible. I never want to work 16 hours a day. I bet you once again, 100%, the quickest way to get to the two hours a month of work or never work a day in your life again will be accelerated by the 16 hours a day. And also, if you truly run the math, on the life that you want to live and the life you want to give to the people around you. And this is what happens. We do, we, we, you, you, you might realize that you need a, a lot more money 
than you think you do. But to get there, and this is the thing, to get there, you need to put in the hours to be able in whatever you do, whatever you do, to build extreme value to the marketplace. To bring the sustained success over time. Because otherwise, the reality is, is that there's a million guys like me who will just simply outwork you and over time outperform you. So simple message that still stands for anyone. If you're watching, if you're ambitious, it doesn't really matter how old you are anymore. None of that fucking matters. If you're ambitious, work damn hard.